so let's get on with this tutorial so I'm going to prime my face using the Smashbox photo finish primer riser I think that's how you say it and then for some glow I'm going to use the MAC show cream and pink light it's like my favorite um, liquid glow and then for um, foundation I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, stick foundation in golden and then I'm going to use these good old nice fluffy brushes these are from BH Cosmetics I love them so much and these brushes are so fluffy and soft guys like oh my god these are one of my, my favorite brushes that I always use and these are the new ones that are coming and I'm just in love with it like it's just so pretty like the packaging just cute and then I'm just going to blend it, you know, down that neck because, you know, we don't want to be uneven with the foundation. For concealer, I know, I know, I'm using the same concealer, but it's just one of my favorite concealers. It's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm using light and medium, and I'm just going to blend it together with a damp beauty blender. Like, do you like my background, guys? Such a pink is going to go with this amazing look that... It looks just such a candy vibe. Now for setting, I'm going to apply my, um, I think this is Ben Nye Luxury Powder. Oh my God, how can I forget this? And um, I forgot the name of the setting powder. But everything will be down in the description below. And then I'm trying out the Maybelline Loose Powder. This is a medium. Oh my God, guys. This loose powder is so beautiful. It feels so soft in the skin when you apply it. For bronzer, I'm going to use nothing but my favorite bronzer. This is the BH Cosmetics Satin Bronzer. Like, oh my God. I love it because it gives you like that nice sheer bronze. Like, it's so beautiful. And then to bronze a little bit more, I'm going to use from the Coco Collection, the shade right there. And I'm just going to bronze it more. I'm not going to contour. I'm just going to bronze it more. And then for blush, I'm going to use um, the same Coco Collection, and I'm just going to apply it on the apples on my cheeks. Now for the glow. I don't know. I've been using this glow so much now, the Nicole um, X Anastasia um, Nicole Glow Kit. And I'm using Forever Lit because, as you can see, it's lit. Like, the glow is serious, guys. The glow is serious. Now for the eyes, I'm going to use Orange Soda from Anastasia Individual Eyeshadow pal Palette. And, um... Custom palette, sorry, and I'm applying that as my transition shade. And I'm just going to keep building it with a fluffy brush. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Ultimate Ultra Eyeshadow Ombres. And oh my god, like these eyeshadows are so pretty. If you hear a noise in the background, guys, it's because they're doing construction. Sorry about that. And now I'm applying the blue shade on my crease where I put the transition shade at. And I'm just going to keep building it up so it could become, you know, a blue. Now I'm going to use the MAC Rockin' Rebel um, eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use that dark blue shade right there and I'm just going to apply it to the outer corner and to the middle of my eye. I don't want to go too way in to my inner corner because I just feel like it's going to look a little too weird. Now I'm going to go with the pink shade and I'm just going to blend it with the blue together so it can give me like that purple pink vibe and I'm just going to apply it with the smallest crease um, brush from the BH Cosmetics and oh my god like, this brush really gives you so much details like it goes through my crease and it just blends so well and then I'm going back with the blue just to blend it just to build it up a little bit more to the outer corner now I'm going to use the pink um, metallic um, on my eyelid and I'm I'm just gonna put it like only to like the middle of my eye and I'm gonna do the same thing with the blue and then I'm gonna go with the MAC eyeshadow palette again and I'm just going to apply the middle shade I think it's like the blue shade but guys we don't even need to wet this eyeshadow like it wet like it looks good like that by itself like, it looks wet without any fix plus or anything like it's so beautiful and I'm going to apply the golden one on my inner corner. And then whatever color that I put on my face, I'm applying it on my lower lash. To apply eyelashes off camera. Now for the lips, I'm going to use the MAC Lip Pencil and Plum, one of my favorite lip liners. And then I'm going to apply it with the lip glass also. I forgot the name of it, but like I said, every part will be down below. 
and yeah guys i hope you like this tutorial like and subscribe and comment this is something that is so new to me guys and i'm feeling this look so yeah see you guys in the next video bye